So we see a lot of challenges in terms of the uptake of analytics, um, embedding analytics into business processes to derive meaningful insights that organizations can use to, whether that be improve their business performance, increase profitability, um, reduce uh, attrition of customers, um, drive some growth. So while there's a lot of hype around analytics, advanced analytics, artificial intelligence, we're not seeing that cut through in many of the businesses that we work with, particularly across financial services, uh, the financial services sector, but well across many, many sectors. So there are pockets of innovation um, and many use cases where advanced analytics are being used, but it's not pervasive across industries. And in fact, we've run a number of surveys, our CEO Pulse survey at PwC, and interestingly, one in 10 CEOs um, are looking at advanced or artificial intelligence um, as a potential um, disruptor to their business model coming down the road. And that's, that's quite interesting because um, it shows that again, people, it's not front of mind at the moment. Uh, maybe if I elaborate on that, one of the reasons why I think that is is because if you look at where we're coming from and what lies ahead of us um, on a more macroeconomic basis. So Brexit is kind of really front of mind for, for organizations at the moment. And uh, I think being focused on how you embed analytics into your business processes isn't going to necessarily address some of the challenges that Brexit. So that's very, very front and center. If you look where companies are coming from, we're emerging out of the, the kind of the global financial crisis. And while that happened eight, nine years ago, um, we're, start, we're only starting to see kind of regrowth again after many, many years of retrenchment. So, so really embracing the whole innovation agenda and embracing how analytics can improve business performance is something that I think CEOs and decision makers are, are very, very aware of, but are not necessarily taking the, the, the actions to drive it into the heart of their business. So my role is um, I'm a partner at PwC and I lead out our data and analytics practice. Um, and essentially I am going to work with our clients, um, existing clients, target clients, to help them understand how they can leverage their data to improve decision making. And the maturity of that is, is, is very broad. So it can be simply for organizations to understand, well, how do I access my data? Um, you know, many organizations have some legacy challenges around accessing their data. It sits in many disparate, different systems. So just getting access to that data is a challenge for them. So then once I access that data, you know, how do I derive insights from that? You know, what sort of tools, what technologies, what infrastructure do I require? And then how do I governance, govern all of that process that sits around that? So we will help organizations with that. Then as you move up the maturity curve, it's more, so how are you using advanced analytics to help you make better decisions? And better decisions need to be led by, well, what problems are we trying to solve within our business? So examples might be, we're hemorrhaging customers. So what's driving the fact that you're losing a lot of customers? Are there particular segments of customers that you want to hang on to who you're losing? Or actually, are you losing customers who are destroying value for you as an organization already. And again, using analytical techniques to kind of parse out those and understand the differences between high value customers and lower value customers and customers you want to hold on to and customers you want to lose. There, there, there's some very good techniques around that. Um, and then right up to the, the kind of the, the predictive side as well. So we have these customers. If we take a particular action, what is the likelihood reaction from the customer? And this all kind of falls around that whole area of how do we better improve the personalization of our products and services to our customers. So again, data and analytics is just, a, it's just another tool, it's just another technique, but it really can be used to enhance how you're managing your customers, how you're solving particular problems within your business.